Happy haunting, darlings, and welcome to Thursday's haunting series. On this episode, we are going to be looking at the beautiful Sarah Winchester, also known as she has built the Winchester Mystery Mansion. So on today's episode, this is series one of this episode, there'll be three series on Sarah Winchester, which series two will be next Thursday live at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over here on the channel Horror Girl Review. So come live and let's talk about Sarah Winchester. All right, so today on this episode, I am just gonna give you a brief rundown of who she is, what kind of she about, and then come to next Thursday's live here on this channel at 7 p.m. And we're gonna go in a little bit more detail about Sarah Winchester. All right, now if you look up at different things, like I have been studying Sarah Winchester for a little while now because I'm very admired by Sarah Winchester in her mystery Winchester mansion. But more I get to digging deep into her life, it's very interesting indeed and very haunting. So they say that she was born in 1840, but different aspects that I dive deep and research is that it's not proven that she was born in 1840. She was either born in 1832 between 1840. So, okay. Hmm. Now, she was married to William Winchester, as we all know, and if you don't, now you do. Um, William Winchester's father oliver is who is the one that started winchester arms okay so when oliver passed away uh the company went to william her husband william bo was born in 1862 and he did pass away 1881 of tuberculosis at that time that became she became an heiress of winchester arms um uh, Sarah had 50% of the company at that time. She got over $20 million, and she got $1,000 a day. The Mystery Mansion took 38 years for Sarah to build. Around the clock, there was no stopping. Now, if you saw the Winchester movie at 12 o'clock, a bell always rang, and that is very true in this situation. If you have not watched the Winchester, I highly recommend you do. Because on part series two and series three, we're going to go over a little bit of details in the movie corresponds with her life. So going back to the going back to the logistics of Sarah in the series, they did have a daughter. Her name was Annie Win Winchester. We'll go over her a little bit more in details. Then her, like I said, she got twenty million dollars from her inheritance when William passed away, and she got fifty percent of the company she also got a thousand dollars a day so it made her at that time the most wealthiest woman the most wealthiest woman in that era all right so that's kind of amazing now when sarah was young at age 12 she was fluent in many languages in many languages of course which helped her long run be in a specific, specific organization that you wouldn't think women were allowed to be a part of. Wonder what that could be. You'll find out in series two for sure. She was really, really convinced that she was cursed. And the curse was whoever got killed by the Winchester Arms rifle was coming after her family. We'll dive deeper into that curse, her mentality of why she thought she was cursed in series three. Sarah Winchester, like I said, they, it's anywhere between 1832 to 1840. She was born in New Hampshire, Connecticut. Now, when she passed away of heart failure in September the 5th of 1922 in California. Before she even passed away, she signed a will, 13 sections, 13 times she signed it. She left all her estate and everything to her niece. When all that was said and done, the niece 
auction, took what she wanted, and she auctioned off everything else, including the mansion. Now, why did she do it? Why wouldn't she want to keep that prized possession of that mystery mansion? Find out in series three, of course. Sarah Winchester, her current place of rest, is in Evergreen Cemetery in New Haven, Connecticut. She is buried right beside William and her daughter, Annie. Annie's birth, I can just let you know this, and we'll go more over Annie, like I said, in series two, but Annie was born in 1866, all right? They say that, you know, Sarah died of heart failure in her sleep. That's what they say, but I wonder if it's true. Hmm. We'll have to look into that, shall we? So join me next Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on this channel live for Series 2 of Sarah Winchester and her gorgeous life, indeed. She was cursed because of anyone who got killed by that Winchester rifle was coming after her family. So in Series 2, going live, come and learn more about it. I recommend you watch the Winchester movie. And come back and see pinpoints of it. I'm going to pinpoint out different parts of that movie to tell you how it coordinates with her life. I admire this woman so real, so much. Come and learn out. Because what organization she is a part of that many women are not even allowed to be a part of. Because she was. And it tells you a little bit. Wondering if she's magical or not. You can come find out. Next uh, next Thursday. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right here live on this channel. Come and let's all talk about Sarah Winchester together. Until and make sure you hit that red button. And become a part of my spooky squad darlings. Ring my bell by clicking the bell be so that you can be notified anytime I go live or upload a video. And also, check out the banner links on this channel. It has all my social media. Until the next time, I'll see you then, if you dare.